It's a weight loss method that's trending. This has literally been the only thing that has worked for me. One that Mariel Rosenwasser in West Palm Beach says changed her life. I have a hormonal disorder called polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS for short. My body overproduces insulin to break down like glucose in the body. And so my body like doesn't function, I guess, like a normal person's body. And so this drug has really helped me personally because it makes my body normal. She's talking about Manjaro, an anti-diabetic medication used to treat type 2 diabetes and obesity. Mariel says she was also previously prescribed a similar drug called Ozempic, commonly known as a quick fix for weight loss. The celebrity stuff, the people who are, you know, disordered eating and are getting it like not through a health, like a notable healthcare provider, like they're going to like a med spa. Like I feel like that has put so much negative publicity in the news. People are struggling. They are looking for a way to lose weight. Dr. Conwell Bava owns a med spa in Boca Raton. She tells WPTV she's been prescribing Ozempic for three years. I saw that it was working for people. And then before I started offering it to my patients, I tried it on myself. I had gained weight due to cancer treatment. It wasn't easy to exercise. I was in a lot of pain. So when I took it myself and lost a considerable amount of weight with really no side effects, I felt that I needed to bring this to my patients. But according to a 2023 lawsuit, some patients are experiencing serious side effects. We've retained already over 11,000 cases um, where people have claim that they've taken these drugs and have had either persistent vomiting for over a month or have been diagnosed with gastroparesis. Which is a condition that causes delays in the stomach emptying and in some cases can be severe, according to the Cleveland Clinic. Because of this, last year, law firm Morgan & Morgan filed a suit against the makers of Ozempic and Manjaro asking for a jury trial, alleging in the suit the, quote, defendant's drugs delay gastric emptying. There really was a failure to warn consumers about that, um, despite extensive marketing and publicity. In a statement to WPTV, the maker of Ozempic, Novo Nordisk, said, quote, gastrointestinal GI events are well-known side effects of the GLP-1 class. The statement goes on to say, we recommend patients take these medications for their approved indications and under the supervision of a healthcare professional. We are continuously monitoring the safety profile of our products and collaborate closely with authorities to ensure patient safety, including adequate information on gastrointestinal side effects in the label. And Eli Lilly, the makers of Manjaro, said, quote, our FDA approved label clearly warns that Manjaro may be associated with gastrointestinal adverse reactions, sometimes severe. These risks were communicated to and widely known by healthcare providers. We are vigorously defending against these claims. And now a fairly new drug called Zepbound is on the market. It was approved by the FDA in November of last year. It contains the same ingredients as Manjaro according to the FDA, and is made by the same company, Eli Lilly. In an FDA press release, the administration says, quote, ZepBound causes thyroid C-cell tumors in rats. But in a statement to WPTV, the FDA clarified, quote, it is not known if these drugs will cause C-cell thyroid tumors or medullary thyroid cancer in people. And Eli Lilly reiterated the same thing in their own statement to WPTV. All drugs have their side effects. And Fort Pierce bariatric surgeon Dr. Jason Radicke says he advises potential patients that they shouldn't consider any of these drugs if thyroid cancer runs in their family, which also is included in what's called a box warning from the FDA on their labels. Knowing all of that, does it shock you that all of these drugs have been approved by the FDA? No, I wouldn't say that. I would say it's a risk versus benefit situation. Uh, I think pharmacology is a tricky business. I think if you open up any label on any drug, you could pick Tylenol, aspirin, things that we've taken for years. Well, if you open up to the side effect pamphlet, it, there's a litany of items listed there. So, so Dr. Radicke says people should do their research and even Mariel admits these drugs may not be for everyone. If I had like 10 pounds to lose, I don't think that it's worth like any type of risk, you know, if I can do it another way and I don't need to worry about it. But for the people that can't do it that way, like there is something standing in the way and this drug fixes that, 
I see it as totally different. Now, the Morgan and Morgan lawsuit has been lumped together with several other suits around the country that are similar, and that's called multi-district litigation, and the cases have not yet gone to trial, but we'll be following it. I'm consumer investigator Jessica Bruno, WPTV News Channel 5.